One day, I decided to quit my job and move to a country that I had never heard of before, Malawi, Africa. I met a girl named Emily who was an orphan because her mom didn't have $20 to go to the hospital. At that moment, I knew I had to do something, so I did. With an old camera and some incredible local partners, I started making videos, uploading them to Facebook, and raising money for the people around me. This is my friend Rosina. She's from- Is it recording? Hey mom! And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build her a brand new house so she has her own place, she's got status. Uh, so I'm really excited and I'll, and I'll continue to give you updates uh, as we go along. Thanks. I wanted to find some of the highest impact ways that we could help people in need. Can I call my doctor friend and have him talk to him? And I knew that working with the local people was the way to do that. When I asked them, what do you think Malawi needs? One of the answers I kept hearing over and over and over again was, girls education. Everyone believed that when you educate girls in Malawi, you educate the nation. When I first launched the campaign to fundraise for Girls Shine Academy, I was not even sure it would work. I just knew it was the right thing to try and fundraise for it. But what I discovered was that showing people how their money was being used effectively and responsibly created this movement. 12 plaques, several hundred names, and a school might be the best thing I ever get to do in my entire life. And if that's the case, I'm really happy about that. Donorcy was launched three weeks after the first day of Girl Shine Academy. In that moment, I knew that I had found my purpose. I wanted to give that opportunity to people all over the world. My name is Gret, and I hope you'll join me in literally changing the world forever by the end of this year, 2016. For the last six months, me and my team have been secretly working on an app that helps donors see the impact their money makes when they give. It's called DonorSee. Hey guys, we have two DonorSee updates to share with you today. The first one is small, and the second one is huge, and the start of many more things to come. It is October 10th, which means it is the 10-10 challenge. We are here in my living room. My wife is behind the camera. And we just got something, we just got a package. Okay, these are a bunch of new DonorSee hats. My wife and I, we give $100 a month through the program, which we pay for ourselves. And it's really nice to get the reminders every month that there are. Today is the day that we launch version 2.0 of the DonorSee website. We have been working on this redesign for months. Hey everyone, we just got some really exciting news. This morning, we were featured in Forbes magazine. But around 2019, we really kind of figured out exactly our model. We figured out, you know, what are the things that donors really value? They value trust. They value the connection that they have with the people that they're helping. They value the immediacy. We hired our first full-time employee at the beginning of 2020, outside of myself. Um, and then we just started adding staff since then steadily as we've grown. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, David! David. <laughs> we think you're great. Owen got second place. And um, it's been really fun. Our staff, we just all got together actually here in DC. We flew all of our European staff in, our Californian staff. We flew them all into DC. And there's like a real, like we feel like there's like this real energy right now about almost like the, the calm before the storm. Like we really have a lot of good things that are happening all at the same time. And it's all kind of coming together. So we're at this just very exciting moment and I'm, I, I'm just very excited about it. I think we're all searching to be part of something meaningful and to have purpose in our lives.